Is Qatar imposing mandatory service for the World Cup? A government official reveals all. If you're a Mohammed Ramadan fan, you may want to hold off on buying tickets for an upcoming concert. Another day, another prediction. A London-based stockbroker has predicted this team to win the 2022 FIFA World Cup. And finally, Paris Saint-Germain's Nasser al Khalifi is going all out on FC Barcelona. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. A Reuters report claiming hundreds of Qatari diplomats serving around the world have been summoned back to Qatar for mandatory military service has been described as misleading. The report said the Qataris would be tasked with securing checkpoints at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. However, a government source told Doha News this is not new nor limited to the World Cup. National service recruits already assist in major events every year, with one of them being Qatar National Day celebrations on December 18th. Now, controversial Egyptian pop star Mohamed Ramadan announced his biggest and first show in Qatar earlier this week, triggering outrage here in the Gulf state. Ramadan is known for his controversies, including his stance on normalization and his vocal anti-Qatar sentiments. In response to growing uproar online, Qatar's Ministry of Culture said authorities haven't provided any licenses for this performance. In sports news, the human equivalent of Paul the Octopus has made a stunning prediction on which team will win the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. London-based stockbroker Joaquin Clement has made the bold claim that Messi and co Argentina will lift the coveted trophy beating England in the final. Clement has predicted the winner of the previous two World Cups successfully, picking Germany and France as winners in 2014 and 2018. European football's most powerful executive, PSG owner Nasser Al Khalifi, has stated that FC Barcelona's financial circus must face a crackdown. This comes as the Catalan club raked in hundreds of millions of euros by selling future TV rights and digital content to gain funds to buy a plethora of new players. El Khalifi has stated that what Barca have done is not fair and might not even be legal, pointing to the club recklessly selling off their future whilst setting a dangerous precedent. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.